Hey, what's up? It's Josh Shanley, co-founder of Client Alchemist. And uh, the title of this video <laughs> isn't, uh, um, isn't great, but I'm hoping that you, you, you watch this because the message uh, of the video is, is really important. And um, I think if you embrace it, we'll help you a lot. And the message is this. Until you truly map out and identify the destination you want for your real estate business, you're going to continue to be frustrated and 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 uh, you know hit dead ends and 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 struggle. And um, I have a couple of different perspectives or, or thoughts on this. Um, so think about it this way: if you don't know your end destination, no map will help you, right? If you don't know where you want to go with your business. No map will help you. And there's no right or wrong answer, really. It's it's the right answer for you in your business. And tactically, practically speaking, what that means for, for our clients is getting crystal clear on the geographic area of where they want to grow their client base, right? And, and uh, you know, we, we, we talk with a lot of agents every week and um, the ones that are already successful and are looking to scale, they already have clarity on that. And the ones that typically are struggling for one reason or another are the ones that when I ask them, you know, do you, do you know, uh, do you have an idea of where you want to grow your, your client base, when, where you want to grow your book of business? And they tell me, you know, well, Philadelphia or, you know, Baltimore, and they're a single agent, right? Whereas, uh, you know, the ones that are, are um, super clear, and, and I'll give you, I'll give an example of uh, a, a fellow that's been a, a great client of ours for many years. I spoke with him this week. He is very, very dialed in on the four zip codes and the neighborhoods that he is uh, looking to and already building his business, uh, his book of business in. So just having that clarity, right, and understanding where you want to go. Who do you want to do uh, uh, to target and grow a book of business geographically, demographically, and then uh, the way we build pipelines and, and uh, uh, build client acquisition systems, we layer on some additional criteria and interests. You could think of it as psychographic targeting um, a little bit. And the clearer you can get on that, the easier everything else becomes. Um, I'm reminded of the scene from Alice in Wonderland where Alice and, uh, and the Mad Hatter, they're, they're, you know, they're, they're walking on a path and they hit a fork in the road and there's the Cheshire cat, uh, at the fork and they ask the cat which way they should go. And the cat asks them, well, where are you going? And they say, you know, we don't know. And then he said, well, either one will take you there, right? So taking the time to get clear get clarity on on that is critically important. For many of you, it's pretty simple. It's the community that you're already a part of, but that's not always the answer for all of you. So just sitting down and really thinking about taking the time to identify where do I want to build my book of business? Uh, demographically speaking, who do I want to work with, right? Baby boomers who are downsizing, small families that are looking to upgrade, first-time home buyers investors. There's lots of different pockets or, or different niches that you can focus on. And again, there's no right or wrong answer to these questions. There's the right answer for you and your business, right? And if you want help with that process, then I would uh, highly recommend you grab a copy of uh, uh, my Amazon bestselling book, Attract, Four Simple Steps to Attracting Your Ideal Client with Zero Prospecting. You can grab a copy at attractbook.com. You just help me cover the cost of shipping and handling, uh, attractbook.com. And either way, take some time. If this is something you're struggling with, take some time. Sit down with a pen and paper and really think this through, right? What what zip code or zip codes do I want to grow my book of business in? Or what community, what, what city, what town? And then who do I want to help and serve? You, you have that a power, you, that, that, that power, that ability is now available to you where you don't have to aimlessly wander around hoping for business, right? Waiting for business to come to you. Uh, you can proactively build a pipeline that, that funnels business to you where you don't have to chase after it. You don't have to, you know, you don't have to be cold calling 
every FISBO and every expired or, or uh, you know, just mindlessly wandering, trying to uh, acquire those clients. Anyway, the power is in your hands. If you want help with that, we'd love to help you. Check out, uh, uh, grab a copy of, of the book at attractbook.com. If you found this helpful, let me know. Uh, share with uh, others in our community, and uh, hopefully we'll talk again real soon.